this is our second snail bullhead that we lost. Um, it's about, I want to say, four years old. We have a bad luck with bullheads. Can't keep them longer than uh, four or five years for some reason. We tried uh, brown northern variant, brown southern variant, two snail bullheads. Um, what else did we try? Yeah, so that's six bullheads we couldn't keep for too long. Right now the only one left is the yellow bullhead. That's also about four years old. Well, actually, this guy's actually probably five or six years old now that I'm thinking about it. It stopped eating pretty much. I mean, it struggled eating. It would take the food in the mouth and mouth it for a while and then spit it out, take it again, spit it out. Once in a while it, it would swallow the, the food. But that's been going on for about six or eight months. So um, it obviously, it, to, to me it obvious it got sick, it's got some sort of trouble with digesting food. If you remember this is uh, the bullhead that was rasped in the 1800 gallon by a cyanodontist. So we uh, rehomed it into a 240 gallon, both of them. So one of them died probably about half a year ago. So maybe it was a year already. As you can see, head to tail, it's tip to tip, is about 14 inches. nice sizable teeth uh, well you can see them that's all I can tell you it's probably my our water is probably too warm that's the one reason another reason is that uh, in 2018 we got that uh, outbreak with some infection that's still plaguing once in a while our, our fish here and there Those are the only two reasons I can think of, unless it came with some kind of internal problems. You never know when you get fish in the, from the wild. Maybe it had a parasite, even though I doubt it, but can never discount it, for sure.